camera speed. What's up guys, Jacob Owens here for the Buff Nerds and I'm back with another tutorial. I've been getting a few questions lately about my exporting process and I have that in a manual and a few other things but real quickly I'm going to show you how to get the highest quality export out of Adobe Premiere for your videos for YouTube. A lot of people say their stuff looks like crap on YouTube or whatever so I'm just going to show you what I do. Um, you either can do it or you don't have to, whatever. This is just my process so um, listen here. Alright, so this is the full video here. You can see my whole timeline. I've got it all rendered out. This is the video, and now I'm ready for export. I got my endpoint set, I got my outpoint set, and I'm just gonna come up here. I'm gonna do file, export, media. Now, I have a preset set for um, basically for YouTube for just ex exporting a QuickTime file. Um, I always export. Um, in the QuickTime format. You're gonna go format QuickTime and then go ahead and name your project. I'm just gonna call this Vinta. I'm gonna make sure this is set scale to fit. Um, and now we come down to kind of the more important stuff here. So this is gonna be the video. So all the different specs for the export. Video codec, Apple ProRes 422HQ. Now the reason I do this is all Vivo videos for YouTube when you export a music video for Vivo, etc., they always require a ProRes 422HQ file instead of an H.264. So I just always export my YouTube videos as a ProRes 422HQ. Come in here, make sure the video is set to 100% quality. Um, now I'm gonna export out 1920 by 1080. Although this is 4K footage, I'm gonna just export it out as 1080. Um, that's typically what I do. 4K files take a long time to export and usually most people can't even tell or watch 4K on YouTube. So 1920 by 1080, make sure that's set. Frame rate 23976. Make sure field order set to progressive. Square pixels 1.0. Then you're gonna check mark this 48 bit box render at maximum depth and then last but not least use previews and use maximum render quality now you can export it right here in premiere but i always send it to a w media encoder by just selecting q it's going to open that up so boom here's adobe media encoder we got the file right here and literally all we're going to do is press play and now it's going to start the export and i can come back in here edit something else or ex exit out and do whatever but this is now exporting and i will have a prores 422 file that i can upload directly to youtube and that is my export process so hope you guys enjoyed that hope you guys you know maybe it's something you've never done before but that is my export process so if you like the quality of my exports on youtube that's what i do and you can go ahead and just copy that all right guys give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and if it helped and if you have more questions or comments about this video or questions about stuff you want to see me tutorial in the future let me know and comment below comment share and like this video please it really helps i appreciate you guys and have a good one Thank you.